August is National Immunization Awareness Month, and with some students starting school next week, now is the time to get your child their vaccinations. Joining us now with more is Dr. Pauline Roll, the director of the Duval County Health Department. Dr. Roll, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Good morning. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to be here. From your perspective as a healthcare professional, how important is it for children to get vaccines? Well, certainly every year we emphasize or year round we emphasize vaccinations. It's important for children to be vaccinated against these diseases in order to prevent them from getting them. It would be senseless for a child at this point to get something like measles when there's a vaccine available. Do they have to get these vaccines before school starts? If not, do you recommend they get them as early as possible into the school year? They need to get them now, as soon as possible. Ideally, they should get them before the start of school. Parents seem to be under the impression that if they're keeping their child at home and doing virtual school, that they don't need to be vaccinated. That is not true. Uh, Duval schools, as well as state statute, requires that they still be vaccinated. There'll be a record on file for that child. And so we don't want parents to wait. Um, we're trying to encourage social distancing at our clinics and at private providers across the city. And we don't want a mad rush for parents to try and get their children vaccinated at the last minute. And for those of us with children or just for those of us who are, you know, looking on at the situation, of so many districts throughout Northeast Florida, really around the country, this school year is going to look very, very different. I know you reiterated, even if you're at home, you still yes. should get these vaccine, vaccines. What types yes. of vaccines are available this, the, the, uh, now? So right now, of course, uh, the, the usual vaccines such as uh, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, hepatitis B, um, haemophilus influenza B, uh, but the ones that parents are most familiar with are the measles, mumps, rubella, chicken pox, and polio vaccines. And so all of those are available at your local medical provider or at the health department. We also offer vaccines to the community. And so we want to ensure that children are properly vaccinated. It would be a shame to have a measles outbreak on top of COVID in our schools. That would uh, be a terrible thing. And so we want to prevent that from happening. On your screen right now, uh, locations for where folks can go to get uh, vaccines. When we talk about children being vaccinated, what age groups are we referring to? So, uh, of course, there, um, in infancy, children get vaccinated at two months, four months, six months, 12 months, and so on and so forth. But particularly right now, we're, keen, we're honed on, in on those school-age children, children age four to six, so that would include your preschoolers to your elementary school kids, and then your middle schoolers. That is another key point at which children get vaccinated going into the seventh grade. And we must not forget our college students. There are vaccines that they need to have as well. And so for parents at home who have school-age kids, you're looking at your kids entering preschool, kindergarten, seventh grade, and college. Um, those are key points um, at which we require them be vaccinated um, to enter school. Going to get vaccinated will look a little different this time around Same. than in previous years because of the pandemic. Are you aware of any safety measures in place right now for folks going to get these vaccines? So certainly at our sites, um, and I'm sure it's the same at other sites around the uh, country, uh, there's hand sanitizer available. There's appointments made. Uh, rather, traditionally, we've offered walk-in vaccinations, but because of the pandemic, we're encouraging folks to make an appointment. That way we don't have huge crowds. If anyone's ever visited our centers close to school start, they know there are hundreds of thousands of people lined up to get vaccinated. And so we're offering appointments in order to have the appropriate spacing. Um, our staff uh, where they wear masks and anyone entering our buildings is required to wear a mask. Of course, um, the, the mayor's ordinance at this time also requires that folks wear masks when they're indoors. Dr. Roll, thank you so much for taking the time and speaking with us this Saturday morning. We appreciate it. You're welcome, no problem. In Clay County, the Florida Department of Health is hosting a back to school immunization drive. The drive will be open next Monday through Friday from eight to four. You can stop by the Paul E. Reinhold Agricultural Fairgrounds between, again, 8 and 4. No appointments are necessary to be vaccinated at this drive.